7m minus 3.4 equals 5.8m plus 6.12. All right. Uh, well, I'll do this one together. Okay? We'll, we'll give you a chance to try the next one on your own. But uh, principles of equality, and once again, I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut on this one and just do two principles of equality in one line. So, I'll, you know what? I'll give myself more space here like this, all right? Uh, but by the time I finish this with putting both principles of equality into one step, then uh, it's just going to save me space, and it's going to narrow this down into pretty much a one-step equation right off the bat, all right? Now, for me, once again, I do like my variables on the left and the numbers on the right. Do you have to do that? No, you do not. But the 7m, it's on the correct side, so it's that negative 3.4. i got to zero that out by adding it to itself. Well, adding its opposite. Yeah. Negative 3.4 plus 3.4 is zero, but if I do it to one side, yep, i got to do it the other side, so plus 3.4. But you'll notice that I have aligned that with the 6.12. That's because those are like terms. I would definitely not want to put the plus 3.4 below the m term because they are not like terms to combine. So what do I get from that? Uh, 6.12 positive plus 3.4, 9.52. Seems like an unusual number. But now the M's. I got 5.8 M's on the number side of things. That's got a zero out. So let's subtract 5.8 M's. Why subtract? Because it will zero out. But if I do it to one side, I got to do it the other side as well. So minus 5.8 M. So 7 M's minus 5.8 M's. Yeah, 7 M plus, uh, minus 5.8 M's. I get 1.2 M's on that. And so, yeah, see how this becomes a one-step equation? Do you have to do that in one step like I just did, like in one phase or, I don't know, upside down T, whatever you want to call it? Uh, no, you do not. You could have done it in two steps like I've been doing uh, with the previous problems, right? It's just now, what are we going to do? Divide both sides by the coefficient, 1.2. That rhymed, but not on purpose. So there's our phantom 1, 1M, phantom 1, equals, oh, I'll, I'll use a calculator for this one. Uh, where's my calculator? 9.52 divided by 1.2, or over 1.2, either way. Oh, yeah, this is pretty ugly, right? I got uh, 7.93333, and then some people show that the threes repeat like this. Other people, known as math nerds, show it like this. It's called bar notation. Uh, would it ask us to round this one? Probably. probably. Uh, and probably to two decimal places, right? So maybe it would be good to see the, or more of those threes anyway. I would only need one more three, but you could see lots of them. As many as you want, by the way, because this goes on for an infinity. Uh, but let's say we're going to round this to the two decimal places, right? So that's this three. Again, I, I circled one to the right. That three to the right in the thousandths place value is less than five. So this three in the hundredths place value, I just keep the same. And I end with M, after rounding, equals 7.93. Okay, so let's go back to that uh, 7M. Uh, and we only need to focus on the numbers here, the coefficients. I would make this 7.0. And then I would subtract 5.8, okay? Uh, just so I have... Uh, numbers to line each place value up with and yeah this is i can i have enough to take away 5.8 so I don't, I don't need to worry about uh any subtraction rules or like changing it into addition problem uh, but there i got zero minus eight that's not enough so i got to borrow one from the seven so i'm splitting the seven up purposefully and meaningfully into six and one right that's how many tens i'm looking at six tens and one ten well the one ten i just transfer over to the ones place value ten minus eight is two the decimal just drops down, by the way. And then 6 minus 5, boom, 1. And then, of course, that was in, that was in M's. Yeah, that's how we, that's, if you do it by hand, uh, again, that's this step right here. 